10 things to know before moving to Chicago. So, you're moving to Chicago. Whether it be for work or pleasure, there are many great features this beautiful city has to offer. But keep in mind that, like all cities, Chicago is not perfect. It will have its advantages as well as disadvantages. So, it's important to know what you'll be moving into beforehand to avoid unexpected surprises when you get there. In a nutshell, if you love diversity, exploring different cultures, sports, and art, but don't mind the cold, this city is one for you. Keep watching to learn more about the top things to know before moving to Chicago, Illinois. Number 1. Who's Moving to Chicago? Chicago is a diverse city with people moving in and out from different parts of the world. You're in good company if you are hoping to relocate from a nearby Midwestern city. According to Apartment List's recent migration report, the highest percentage of people moving to Chicago are from Indianapolis, Milwaukee, and Detroit. There are also outbound moves happening around Chicago. Renters who currently live in Chicago but are considering moving elsewhere are searching for apartments in warmer climates such as Phoenix, Miami, and Los Angeles. Number 2. Weather in Chicago Yes, the winters are cold. Many people, visitors, and residents alike talk about Chicago's winters like they're a frozen hell on earth. But there's simply a fact of life here. Yes, you'll want to get a good winter coat and a solid pair of waterproof boots to get you through the cold months. But the city's frozen days have a way of making you even more appreciate what's coming next. The summers make the frostbite worth it. By the time you're fully thawed from the polar vortex, summer in Chicago will quickly make you forget all about that. The weather is gorgeous, and you'll find yourself soaking up every possible moment in it. Whether that's lazying around the beach, reading in the park, or throwing back a beverage on a patio. Number 3. The Cost of Living in Chicago the cost of living in Chicago is 23% higher than the national average. Ranked as the 11th most expensive city in the United States, living in Chicago comes with a cost of living that is comparable to living in San Diego, Boston, or Seattle. While it may not be as expensive as living in New York City or San Francisco, Chicago is still not a cheap place to live. If you're moving from a modest city, heading to Chicago is a step up. Since housing costs are 56% higher than the national average, your salary while living in Chicago will determine the lifestyle that you'll be able to afford. To afford Chicago, a single individual must make an annual average salary of at least $46,222. The living wage in Chicago is around $16 an hour. The high sales cost and the high cost of goods and services are also a large part of why Chicago is so expensive. Number 4. Enjoy the Architecture Chicago's architecture is unparalleled. What's more, the suburban neighborhoods surrounding Chicago are architecturally impressive, too. If you love Frank Lloyd Wright, then you'll be in hog heaven, but it's not just Frank Lloyd Wright. Chicago school buildings, we told you it was a thing, and the international style are well represented, too. One of the most popular ways to enjoy Chicago's architecture is on an architectural boat tour. It's not just for tourists. Number 5. Chicago Parks and Outdoor Recreation Despite Chicago's reputation as a concrete jungle, the city has 570 parks. Downtown Chicago is surrounded by parks, green space, and paths. The waterfront locations, which are ideal for a day of jogging and cycling, are the most popular options. Chicago's parks are also brimming with treasures. The Du Sable Museum, a bird and butterfly refuge, and a few lagoons are all located in Washington Park, which was built by renowned landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted. 
You can also go to the beach without actually leaving the city. Try the beaches on North Avenue, 12th Street, and Montrose Avenue, as well as the dozens of lake pathways that make life in Chicago a distinct waterside experience. North Avenue Beach has 22,000 square feet of area with higher decks and portholes for taking in the view of the sparkling water. Spending time outside is an important part of life in Chicago. You understand why it's known as the city in a garden. Number six, the lake will become your best friend. Who needs an ocean when you've got this thing? The lakefront offers many miles of beaches and massive biking and running trail that outdoorsy types will flock to, and the backdrop of the city's iconic skyline isn't so bad either. It's the sort of view that takes your breath away from even the most jagged Chicagoan. Number 7. Transportation in Chicago ditch your car. Seriously. The Chicago Transport Authority operates the L Train's CTA bus service and some surrounding suburban options. You'll also hop on the Metro Rail for transportation between Chicago and the rest of the suburbs. If you live near the waterfront around Michigan Avenue, the Chicago Riverwalk, Ogilvy, or Chinatown, you can hop a water taxi to get to work. Living in Chicago without a car isn't challenging in the slightest if you live near public transportation. Chicago Public Transportation runs around $105 for service on the L train. You can also add in Uber, Lyft, taxi, cycling, and urban walking to make up the gaps of not having a vehicle. Number 8. Chicago is a big sports town. Everyone knows that the Chicago Bears are one of the worst football teams in the NFL. But the city's fans still remain loyal, hoping for that one year when they'll make it to the Super Bowl. In the winter, everyone flees the cold temperatures and flocks to the sports bars to watch the famous Blackhawks. After winning the Stanley Cup three times in five years, don't be surprised to hear shouting coming from your local bar during game nights. Just as every season brings new excitement for Chicago sports fans, you may find yourself invited to one or even several Chicago Cubs or White Sox games in the spring or summertime. Even if the home team doesn't win, you can expect enough entertainment from the excitement of the fans to make the game worthwhile. You also won't want to be missing out on the food. Number 9. Beware of Crime The violent crime rate in Chicago is 164% higher than the national average, which makes it one of the highest crime cities in the United States. Meanwhile, the property crime rate is 45% higher than the national average. Your chances of becoming a violent crime are 1 in 105, and your chances of becoming a victim of property crime are 1 in 33. In 2020, the murder rate also rose by 25%, making it one of the largest increases in United States history. Since crime is such an issue in Chicago, it is essential always to be aware of your surroundings and never to let your guard down. Number 10 Best Food in Chicago Chicago has long enjoyed a reputation as a famous food town. Bon Appetit magazine even named Chicago the top food city over New York City and other worthy contenders. Chicago is home to the prestigious James Beard Award winners, including Let Us Entertain You, Sun Hua Barbecue, Aruns, and Parachute. Of course, you can't live in Chicago without adopting a love of deep dish pizza and Chicago style hot dogs. Load up your next steamed hot dog with yellow mustard, white onions, green sweet pickle relish, a dill pickle spear, tomato slices, and pickled sport peppers. A dash of celery salt is crucial to top off your iconic Chicago hot dog. 
Chicago has so much to offer residents. Regardless of your hobbies and interests, you can find something to do and enjoy anytime. Year-round, there are plenty of things to do and see. There is really an endless list of things to do from the endless sports events, parks, beaches, and history. Chicago welcomes so many tourists each year and the excellent amenities reflect that. Residents get to reap the benefits of having trendy businesses, incredible food, and fabulous attractions. Moving to Chicago might be a big decision, but it's the right one for most people.